satellite photos of our planet reveal shocking images of completely unnatural cloud canopies, often over our oceans. These images are seldom seen by the public. In the case of the artificial cloud canopies over our seas, the official narrative from sources like NASA is that the sky blocking artificial clouds are only, quote, ship tracks, trails caused by passing ocean vessels. Is it rational to accept the, quote, ship tracks explanation from NASA as the primary source of the trails we so clearly see in these NASA satellite images? Official sources like NASA, of course, deny the ongoing geoengineering, solar radiation management, jet aircraft, spray dispersions occurring in skies all over the globe. We must consider and remember that any method of delivering toxic particles into the atmosphere, ship dispersions or jet aircraft dispersions, are undeniably a form of toxic climate engineering and climate intervention operations, which are inflicting immense damage to the overall life support systems of the planet. In reality, NASA is nothing more than a military industrial complex contractor for the power structure. Deceiving the public has always been a major part of this agency's mission. Let's consider NASA's official position on geoengineering, aka climate engineering. NASA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the National Weather Service, the U.S. Air Force, and the U.S. government tell us the relentless bombardment of atmospheric particulate spraying in our skies is all just, quote, condensation trails. Is this explanation in any way credible? If the design characteristics of the modern high-bypass turbofan jet engine are taken into account, NASA's official quote just condensation trails narrative can be seen for what it is, a blatant glaring lie of total deception. The high-bypass jet engine is standard on all commercial carriers and all military tanker aircraft. This engine is actually a jet-powered fan. Nearly 90% of the air that passes through a high bypass engine is not combusted. So, to be clear, the jet engines on the aircraft we see in our skies are nearly incapable of producing any condensation trail except under the rarest and most extreme conditions and even then, only a very short-lived trail should ever be seen. We are not seeing condensation trails in our skies. We are seeing sprayed particulate dispersions that are part of the climate engineering solar radiation management operations. Are there nozzles on the aircraft for spraying such dispersions? The short answer is yes. These photos clearly show retrofit nozzles mounted on the pylons of the aircraft and aimed directly into the engine exhaust jet stream to make this appear that we are seeing condensation. Again, what we are seeing is in fact sprayed particulate trails of highly toxic climate engineering elements, not condensation. In regard to the ship tracks false narrative, why would shipping companies that are extremely cost conscious of the staggering amount of fuel their ships consume allow their vessels to meander over oceans in sometimes haphazard patterns and directions? Some of the largest ships can burn nearly 400 tons of fuel per day. Such bohemus do not travel at high rates of speed. A primary objective of shipping companies is of course to take the shortest and most direct possible route for obvious economic reasons. The global shipping route chart shown here illustrates this fact. Why would a commercial ship plot a course along some of the quote ship track trajectories we see on satellite images. Wind movement and the drift of quote tracks cannot account for many of the observed trail directional anomalies. We are told that the clustering and grid pattern like formations are just naturally occurring quote ship tracks due to the combustion engine exhaust. This completely implausible explanation should cause any objective analytical individual to take pause regarding the official narrative on this phenomenon. We can say with certainty that top military commanders have long since considered the disintegrating climate system to be the top national security threat. Does anyone rationally believe that the military industrial complex would ask for public permission before deploying climate engineering operations? Especially when we know that marine cloud brightening is a primary form of proposed climate engineering. Is it reasonable to conclude this form of planetary geoengineering is exactly what we are witnessing over our oceans? Is it rational to conclude all the quote trails and tracks we are seeing over oceans are exclusively from ships as NASA would have us believe? No.
that conclusion is not rational. Are many of the long uniform trails and tracks actually aircraft dispersions, just as we see over land? Why is the general population so completely unaware of the toxic engineered cloud canopy that is frequently occurring in our skies? One reason is because satellite images are filtered to mask the otherwise blatantly obvious jet aircraft particulate dispersions. The images shown here are the same. One is filtered, which helps to mask the blatant geoengineering aerosol spray dispersions. One is not, and thus the trails are extremely visible. Let's again consider that many of the so-called ship tracks we see on radar remain fairly uniform in width for distances of five to six hundred miles and even more. When we take into account the mathematics of this equation, the quote ship tracks narrative becomes completely implausible. Many of the largest container ships travel at speeds as low as 12 knots in order to reduce fuel consumption. At this speed, some of the longest tracks we see in satellite images could take two to three days to lay out. Are we to believe that such long and uniform ship tracks would remain intact for up to several days, especially if the source of the atmospheric particulate dispersions occurred at sea level from the smokestack of a slow moving surface vessel? Geoengineering particulate dispersions from jet aircraft can spread out and cover the skyline in time frames of an hour or less. Why would we believe that the quote ship tracks hold a uniform shape for so long over such distances, again up to five or six hundred miles or even more? We must all thoroughly and objectively examine all available data and facts before coming to conclusions. We must consider that official agencies are tasked with hiding the ongoing global climate engineering assault from populations for as long as possible. That's the fact of the matter. All of us are needed in the critical battle to expose and halt climate engineering. Share credible data from a credible source. Make your voice heard. This is Dane Wigington with geoengineeringwatch.org.